rainy days. Hopefully I'll be able to at least see the scenic nature trail. But yeah, I am happy with my trip so far, even though it's raining. And hopefully it will stop before I get to the beach because that was the main reason why I wanted to come out here was to sit on the beach. And this was kind of on the way. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll take a couple hikes, you know, get a little solitude in. And it's getting really busy now. So I better get going. Um, yeah, see you later. that I had my camera now my DSLR camera because there's a lot of shots I'm not going to be able to get with my phone <laughs> that I might need like a zoom lens or something but it is pretty bird photographers here and so far I've seen probably like eight different kinds of birds so I definitely need to come back here with my camera not that I'm a bird photographer but I do like nature and taking pictures of nature animals and so I also should tell my neighbor about this because my neighbor does take pictures of of birds. So if he hasn't been out here, he definitely should come. Um, I'm also keeping my eyes out for some gators because they said that they like to hide in these marshes. So I'll let you know if I see one. Apparently there's otters here too, and I would die if I saw an otter. Oh my gosh, I think I see an otter. <gasps> I kind of wish that was me. I mean, look at our camera. I don't know if I'd have the patience to sit there for hours to get the perfect shot though. That's the only thing.
apparently you can also see dolphins and manatees. If I saw a dolphin right now, my heart would be full. I mean, I think it'd be really hard to see a manatee from this high up. But you never know. like a six and a half mile hike so you know I think I'm done with my hiking for today but I will definitely have to come back and try that um it is so peaceful here it is so quiet and the weather is absolutely perfect it's breezy but I just wanted to let you know in case you want to come out and do the wild bird trail um i was trying to find it on my map to find out how long it is exactly so uh, if i do i'll just put it on the screen so you have more info okay i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy my my drive now okay now i feel kind of dumb because i should have stopped and gone it's only a quarter of a mile hike it would have only taken about 30 minutes and it's so nice out right now that that probably would have been kind of cool um it has like two bird observation areas and goes through some of the marshes so dang it should have stopped uh i can't go back because it's one way so next time i'll have to do that I was looking for the observation tower. I didn't see it, but I think I might have missed it because I just looked it up online and the closest I got to finding it was someone said on a blog that if you stop at mile marker nine, or like the marker nine, that you can go on the observation tower. Um, I didn't see the observation tower and the parking lot was packed. I mean, there was like nowhere to park, so I just kept on going. So I think I might've missed it. Um, stay tuned for that. But it's supposed to be pretty um, noticeable because it's tall and it's above all of these marshes and stuff and I don't see it anywhere. Not sure if you could see that, but it was a family of bald eagles. Pretty cool. Um, so this drive is really nice. It's kind of like Florida's version of Cades Cove, if you know what that is. In Tennessee, it's like a scenic drive, but. I'm starving and I can't eat my lunch 
until I get to the beach. I mean, I could, but it's not part of the plan. So I'm hungry. I want to eat. So here we go. We're going to go to the beach. Hopefully the sun will stay out and it'll be perfect. So, so far so good.